wait. If Adrian Andrews got her hand on the bear, or not the bear, but the the note inside. Remember, she wants. Okay, let's 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 look at this from that perspective. If she wanted the note inside the bear, because she knew about the note inside the bear, she said she was gonna burn it, right? So if she was gonna burn the note, why the fuck would she want it? Or not why would she want it? But if she, now that she got it from him, she had a day before we took her into to custody. She could have easily disposed of the letter of the yeah the the note by then. So if she was really intent on getting rid of that note, she would have done it already. That's my point. So it would make sense that I mean that makes sense to me. So should we just present the bear? Or maybe the note? The bear, the note. Um and nothing can really hurt us that badly. Let's just try the bear. Yes! Man, I'm just Whew, I'm on a roll. Shelly the killer! If you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside it. Yes, exactly what I was just saying. This item? I see where you're going. Yep, that's where I'm going. Where is everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? Oh my god, this judge needs to be socked in the face every time he says a bad joke. Even though he's just being dumb. Your Honor, please think back to Ms. Andrews' testimony. And I was going to burn it, for her sake. If even for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Ms. Andrews' hands, I'm sure she would have taken the suicide out and burned it. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Fantastic, I'm on the right track. Good, 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 good. Order, order! So that's where you two are going. So by the very fact that this suicide note was still inside the bear, it tells us that your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. Which means... It means, Your Honor, that it is impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Order, order, order. Uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I, I'm sure I mentioned this before, how I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross-examination has clearly demonstrated something to me. You, you must wish to break your end of our agreement. No, 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 that's not it, I swear. That's enough. If that is your own, your intention, then there is only one thing for me to do. Uh-oh. Wait, please. Gentlemen, ladies, please, excuse me. I have a matter that I must attend to. Hold it. Hold it. No, no, please. Not anything but that. Please wait. Mr. Attorney. Bring this trial to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand otherwise. Ugh. Ah! No, we can't let it happen. No! What in the... Mr. Wright, are you... Uh-oh. This might be that moment you guys were warning me about early on. The moment may be coming where we have to make a decision here, and there's no going back. Should I save it now? I'm saving it now. I know it's not like it may be a few dialogue options away, but I'm going to save it now just in case. Yes, Your Honor. I didn't understand this witness outburst just now. Do you think there is a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. If we keep this up, Maya, she'll die. Ugh! The prosecution, I... What has come over, everyone? Even you are... The prosecution rests. What is going on around here? The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. What? What? Wait, what? Uh huh. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay. Well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is a most unusual situation. If the prosecution rests with no further questions. Then, the prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. If that is the case, then even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate. That would mean that Shelley DeKiller's client is... Adrian Andrews! Wait, what? Uh... That's not what we wanted. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? If I end the trial here right now, then your client, Matt and God, would be declared innocent. And in his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. 
This is it. He's gonna fucking ask me, and this is gonna be the moment. <sighs> Miss Andrews would be charged with murder? Uh-oh. Here we go. The prosecution has no further questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remarks. Bailiff, please bring the defendant, Matt and God, to the stand. The items from the killer's hideout didn't make it in time. We tried as hard as we could, but it looks like our time has run out. Man, that's not good. Can't believe it. The outcome now lies in your hands. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why would you do this to me? Don't do this to me, game. Dude, did the old guy finally decide, bro? To be honest, I can't think of you as a truly innocent or good person. You have done enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. But, at least on the charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. <laughs> oh boy. So, so I guess even the old Fuddy Duddy figured me out. Mr. Ungard? You were atrocious as a lawyer, weren't you? Giving your client away like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap, it's just that it's atrocious, don't you agree? Wow, now everyone gets to see his bullshit? I did not expect this in front of the court. Anyway, get on with it and pronounce me innocent already. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Aw, oh, he's just rubbing it in our face. Fuck that. Should I side with justice? Or should I save Maya's life? Fuck all that shit, man. Yeah, you'd better get good. Dude, you know what? This is a fucking Nintendo game. It's I even know it's made by Capcom. If the sad ending is you put away Matt, but Maya dies. Oh, man, that would be fucked up. God, I hope that's not the case. But if I say he's innocent, then Ms. Andrews will be charged as the murderer. And that's, see, that's not what Phoenix is about, man. Do I say he's guilty or not guilty? Either choice I make, someone's life is going to end. Here we go. It all hinges on what I hinges on what I choose. Fuck. Now then, Mr. Wright. Let's hear the defense's final statements on this matter. If the person who hired the assassin was Adrian Andrews, then your client, Mr. Matter God, is innocent. I like how they're just laying this out so fucking much for me, so I if I you know, they're they're trying to make sure I have the decision made, because if I make this decision, this shit is final. This makes me wonder if there's alternate endings here. Like, if I choose one, do I get an ending? And I choose another one, I get a real... Like, these are real endings and not just a game over. Anyway. Hmm. There's no need to ask, old man. After all, my lawyer is going to say what I want. Aren't you? Right. I can't. I can't do this. But I have to decide something. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Be true to your heart. My client, Matt and God, is... Oh, man. Oh, that's me saying it. My client, Matt and God, is guilty or not guilty. Guilty or not guilty. Guilty or not guilty. He's fucking guilty. It doesn't matter. I'm saying it. Matt is fucking guilty, son. Silence, dude. Just silence. We are waiting for your answer, Mr. Wright. Oh, because I, I chose, but we haven't said it yet, okay. Matt on guard, your client deserves an answer. Alright, here we go. Maya, I'm sorry. The decision has been made. Matt on guard is... Oh, snap. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. There she is. Yes! This is what I was expecting. I know it's made by Capcom, but I was totally expecting a Nintendo ending where we get saved at the last goddamn second. Yes! Where's that evidence, baby? Where are you at? Where are you at with it? What are you doing here? Oh, God. She's like, shut your mouth. I got things. You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off of that scruffy fool. Did you bring them? The final pieces? Do you have them? You should know better than that to ask that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Avon Connor is perfect in every way. The evidence is here in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy. He's fine, and his injuries are minor. All of the items are inside this. What a filthy old coat this is. It looks like <laughs> it looks like his coat's all he she used it as like a fucking hobo bag. That's gumshoes. I can spot his tattered rags anywhere. I apologize for his ugliness, but there was nothing else to wrap the items in. That's fine, baby. You got here just in time. For real, though. I fought long and hard this whole trial. 
all for what is inside that raggedy coat. I'm sure that inside that coat lies a coat lies a true crucial piece of evidence. Man, I cannot read. Your Honor, inside that filthy coat are the defense's final pieces of evidence. Oh snap! Your final evidence? Here we go. Here we go. This trial is already over. All that remains is for me to hand down my verdict. I do not believe that any evidence presented now would change the outcome of this trial. What? Objection! Oh, Edward's like, fuck that shit. Uh-uh. Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence, down to the last. I request that Ms. Von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Hmm. I suppose you are right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant permission to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, then they will not be accepted into by this court. Okay. Now, Ms. Von Karma, if you please. These pieces of evidence are items left by the killer during his escape from the police. Hmm. He must have been in quite a rush. Yes, Your Honor. The killer left three pieces of evidence. Somewhere among the evidence we're about to see. There will be something that will turn this whole situation around like a miracle, just like we were hoping for. I'm sure of it! That is all we can hope for. Alright, here we go. What do you got? The first item... The first item is a pistol. Okay. Does the killer's pistol have anything to do with this case? Uh... Can we get some more details? Does that pistol have any relation to this case? We have yet to perform a ballistics test, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case, at least to me. Huh. That's the pistol that he used to shoot you, isn't it? That's what I believe, yes. Oh. I didn't even think about that. I was going to say there was no gun used here, but that might be the pistol that shot her. I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as a sort of memento. I'm sure it will be an excellent example for the test. So that's the pistol that was used to shoot Franziska. Okay. Probably not going to help us very much in this case, though. Seriously, though. Um. Uh. Sorry, what? Pistol added. Oh, it just got added. Okay, sorry. I was like, okay, never mind. I thought I was going to have to do something, but never mind. The second piece of evidence is this videotape. Oh, shit, did we watch it? What's on it? I bet the killer took that from Ungard's mansion. Hell yeah, give me more details. Have you checked the contents of that tape? Unfortunately, there was no time to. Oh, yeah? But I would speculate that this tape is very important. Why would you say that? Because he came back to his hideout for it. The, the killer went back for it? That's right. It looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers at the site. Oh, man, he came back for it. Crazy. But somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the killer is no ordinary man. Okay, so the tape is allowed to be in there. All right. The last piece of evidence is the last piece of evidence is this bellboy's uniform. Now that matters. Is that a uniform from the Gatewater Hotel? Hell yeah, I hope it is. Was that used during the crime? I am almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. There's no doubt about it. The killer was wearing this on the night of the murder. There is one thing I found interesting about this uniform. And and what is that? There is a button missing on this uniform. Oh yeah? Button? A button? It's a very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. Hmm. Alright, so the bubble uniform gets added to the thing. That's fine. Sounds good. Alright. That is all I have to present, Your Honor. Hmm. Okay. It's just as I thought. And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we were under normal circumstance. Were we under normal circumstances, these items from Shelley DeKiller's hideout would be very important clues. However, our question is not who did the killing. It is who is the client. Yes, that is correct. And these three items do not tell us anything about that. This is very true. Or do they? Thank you for your hard work, Miss Von Karma. You may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. This court already has all the evidence it needs to hand down a verdict. Wonderful. Absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? Is this the end? Phoenix? I knew 
knew it. There's no such thing as a miracle in this world, is there? I think you're wrong. I think they do exist. But you have to make that miracle happen. You've come this far. You can't give up now. But, but, no matter how you think about it, it's, it's... Try, for my sake. Just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of the situation for us. Two? The first? Oh, she's gonna break it down for us. Making guard wish from the bottom of his soul for a guilty verdict. Huh? The killer will always place his client... Wait, always place his client's wishes first. If a guard himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. That may be true, but... That's asking me to do the impossible. This motherfucker's evil as hell. There's no way I'm gonna convince him to fucking... Give up. The second way? Force the killer to end his contract with Ungard. If the killer were to no longer think of Ungard as his client, then he would let Maya go. Mia, that's even more impossible. He is a man who values his duty towards his clients above all else. I know both of these seem like impossible feats at first, but if you could make either one happen, it would truly be a miracle. The bigger problem is, the judge has already said he doesn't need any more evidence. The pieces he has, or he was just shown, he's not accepting them. Phoenix, think things through from the other side. Isn't that what always worked for us? The other side? Wait, does she mean... You mean to turn things around? Phoenix, the judge says he doesn't need the evidence. If that's the case, then who does need it? The person who needs the evidence. The defense, prosecution, and the judge. We have seen all the pieces of evidence. And that is how we have come to know the truth. But there are people who have not seen them all. And those people do not know the truth. That truth, it may be what will bring about the miracle in the end. Wait, what? It's a little confusing, but I think I, I got the gist of what she means. There are no objections this time, correct? Now then, I will pronounce my verdict. Why don't we all respectfully sit back and listen, kids? Objection! Oh yeah, fuck you, buddy. It's game over time. Here we go. I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do, but hopefully it makes sense as I go here. Because I'm a little, a little bit confused. I have already told you, Mr. Wright, this court does not need any more evidence. I am not saying it is us that needs the evidence, Your Honor. Then, you want to show the evidence to that person? Yes, Your Honor. Please, Your- uh, please, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, for you to ask with such passion, I will grant you one chance. One chance? Please show your evidence to who you think is the right person. Objection! Wait, what? Uh, that, that's impossible to turn this situation around in one try. One try, that is all I will permit. I have to try and remember. Everything that has happened up to this point. Think, Phoenix, think! There must be a way to save Maya while taking Unguard down at the same time. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's not waste any more time. Who would you like to show evidence to? Okay, so, we have to present a person. That's, uh, the thing. Um, okay, so I think what we're saying here is, or at least what Mia was saying here, is that, uh... He was basically saying we need to drive a wedge in between the killer guy and Mr. Mr. Engard here. Because if if there was for some reason they that the killer dude didn't think that Matt Engard was his client, or that Matt Engard wanted to be arrested or whatever, then the killer would walk you know, walk off and not finish his duty, or you know, he'd consider his duty already finished or whatever. But yeah, like I said, if he considers that the contract is broken because maybe Matt broke the contract, then maybe how would Matt have broke? Oh, snap, I got it. Okay. We want to present the evidence to him. Because if we tell him about the tape, because the tape would essentially mean that he that, that Matt didn't trust him because he was has him on film. Basically, it's like, uh, you know, as blackmail for the killer guy. Anyway, I'm gonna just going to say we got to present it to him. I'm thinking this is the moment of truth right here, by the way. Like, if I choose wrong here, we get the the wrong thing to happen. He said one chance. Let's go for it. I see. And now, tell this court what one piece of evidence you would like to show this person. Oh, we have to pick the one piece of evidence too? Oh my god. Well, I, I did just say the tape, right? 
because Matt taped him. Let me see what it says on the tape. Hold on. One of the items retrieved to kill her violently tried to recover it. Yeah, because this is the one thing he wanted to get, and he didn't get it. He came back for it, in fact. And it, we're assuming this tape is actually of the, the kill happening in Karita's room. That's what we're assuming. We don't know that, though. But we're assuming it is. Let's just do it. I mean, YOLO, right? YOLO. Please tell me I'm right. Well, what do you think, Mr. Edgeworth? Um... I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to that witness. Damn, they were hella vague, but apparently I got it right. Bailiff, please bring in the transceiver from earlier. Alright. It looks like they got a hold of him. Sweet! I must have got it right, dude. I must have got it right. Oh my god. Maya, she's okay, right? Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish to show me one piece of evidence. Can you see evidence from here? Yes, one is all I need. I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. Okay. I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. I thought so. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. Do you know the contents of this tape? I was sternly told by my client to not watch it, so I have absolutely no idea. Actually, you are on this tape. Okay, I'm right then, because I... If he's... Yeah, okay, He's what he said is he's sold to protect the tape, not see what's on it, whatever, just because his client told him to. If he never actually watched the tape, then he doesn't know that he's on the tape being fucking caught doing the murder. So that makes sense. Me? Can we prove that by watching the tape right now? There was a video camera hidden at the crime scene. Your actions were being recorded. What? Is that true, Mr. Ro Are you... Yes, that was true. Motherfucker, we already said that. Who? Who was it that planted a camera? Well, the only person who could have placed the camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. Oh, see? We don't even have to say who the client is. He'll spill all the beans if we just tell him it was his client. That was Adrian Andrews. But will he say that now? Be quiet and listen, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Your client specified a place and time for you, isn't that right? Yes. That was so they could film you. Da 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 da. That makes sense. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? I would like to know why. Because he's an evil motherfucker, that's why. Why did Madden Guard film the crime scene? The reason why he did that is my ticket out of this whole mess. There's only one reason why your client would secretly film the crime scene. He wanted to get see Juan get his? No. He didn't trust your skills? No. He wanted to blackmail you. That's a, This is the most obvious answer. He even said that, right? He said he did it to blackmail the guy? Yeah, anyway. Your client once told me something very interesting. We were talking about you, and this is what they said. Oh, we have the transcript, do we? But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. He did say that. Yes, that's where the video comes in. With that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. He did say that. Those were words. I completely forgot those were exact words, but I knew it was something like that. Your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. Oh, how does that feel, bitch? What do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? Oh, he's he's bleeding he's bleeding brown now, bitch. Oh, here we go. Here we go, dude. We are so close to this, I can taste it. It looks like it looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, it does. By a natural. That is the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who only thinks and plots of how to use the people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have one question for the witness. Yes? You told us one thing numerous times during your testimony. 
You said that you detest traitors most of all. Here we go. Yes, that's right. But what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do then? Yeah, here we go. That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. Yes, we've done it. We're on the right track. And then? That client would become my next target. Yeah. For the honor of the tequila name. Even if it takes an eternity. Dude! We just accomplished both things at once. He broke the contract. And now that... Now he just said he's going to target Matt and Guard. Because if he targets Matt and Guard, Matt and Guard is going to want to be in prison right now. I did it. Please put me away. I don't want to die. Oh my goodness. We did it all in one go. Fucking genius. For the honor of the tequila name, even if it takes an eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. Ooh, I should have said that all evil. Look at that shit. Turn it red. Turn it red, baby. All right. I think we've uh, sufficiently done it. I see. That's all I wanted to know. So the traitor becomes the killer's next target. Yeah, buddy. Ah, oh, I get it. This is how we'll turn this case around. Booyah! Mr. Wright? Yes? My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. What the? I'm not an item! Okay. Wow. That was easy. Cool. My, I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, thank goodness. Now it's time to put Matt away. Is he sweating bullets yet? I want to see his face right now. Wait, was he even... He might not even have been in the courtroom while it was happening. Um, this trial appears to have come to its conclusion. However, I... Actually, I'm sort of... I don't quite know what just happened there with the client and the witness and... Oh, God. Ms. Von Karma, where did that... Oh, what, was that Edgeworth? She always has you in her sights. Now, I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. Do we have to do anything else, or are we just... Oh, he's ble... Oh, he's sweating bullets now. Yeah, now we're talking. Mr. Unguard, it looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You will finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. <laughs> Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watch this video. <sighs> Help me! No. Now then, Your Honor, the verdict if you please. Is this alright with you, Mr. Wright? We have finally reached the end of a very long battle. Whether he's convicted or acquitted, there's no escape for him now. Go on, Phoenix. Plead whichever way your heart tells you. Right, Chief. Uh... Does this matter? Uh... I don't know if this matters, but I'm gonna go ahead and just say... Plead not guilty, because... I want to see him get shot in the face by the assassin. Congratulations, Mr. Madengard. Please make sure to savor every moment of what little time you have left. Your Honor, as always, the defense pleads not guilty. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Matt on guard. What the fuck? Who said hold it now? P -p Please wait. Oh, did he say it? Oh, maybe he said it. What's the matter? If, if I get a not guilty, I'll, I'll be... I'll be killed. Yeah, you will. I... I'm... I'm... No! Guilty! Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking... Wow, he scratched the shit out of his own face, by the way. What the hell? Yep. I got him sweating bullets. I had a feeling that was going to work. That's why I went ahead and went with it. As always, it looks like we have uncovered the real truth. We... I don't remember you helping out much in this at all. If I remember correctly, you tried to fucking end this trial yesterday. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt and God? I have left Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of whip leather right about now. Very good. That was a close one, wasn't it, witness? Yes. I plan to pay my debt to society for my own crime, Your Honor. This trial was the first time I had stood on the witness stand 
And when I did, I really felt hopeless. She must be talking about the time Edgeworth really went after her. I guess she's trying to forgive him for what he did? He did say that she should go ahead and kill herself. The witness, how should I put this, she has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. Go ahead and kill yourself, bitch. That's basically what he was saying. But after that, when I was alone at the attention center, that's the first time I really saw myself and who I am. And today, when the two of you used your combined strength to convict Matt, I... I felt like I had finally been saved. Wow, this is the first time I've ever seen her smile. That's true, she's always been so glum, and it was like a smirk on her face. I'm really happy that you two were in charge of this case. I really don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. This is... this is the first time I felt comfortable with myself, with who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. You're welcome. Have fun in jail for a little while. <laughs> It looks like we have resolved everything at last. As for myself, there are still a few things I'm confused about. But everyone seems to be in good spirits, and that is good enough for me. <laughs> I say fuck it if I, even if I don't get it. That is all the court is adjourned. Wow, he never even has to give a verdict because the guy gave, turned himself in. Alright. Awesome. We did it, guys. We did it. Now, where's the emotional ending where we get, to, where we get Maya back? Because you know that's coming. You are great out there, Phoenix. But I... What I did out there was right, wasn't it? This is the first time you've not gotten your client off. You got them a guilty verdict this time. But you have to look past all of that to what's really important. You now realize that there is something more than just getting a not guilty, right? Yes, I understand that. Phoenix, think back for a second. Think to the moments before Ms. Von Karma arrived with the final pieces of evidence. Think about the incredible decision you had to make. Oh, I remember. Don't you worry. Now then, Mr. Wright, let's hear the defense's final statement on the matter. I was about to pick not guilty, man. I can't count on the evidence to help me anymore. I have to listen to my heart. Should I side with justice, or should I save Maya's life? That's a tough decision to make, man. My client, Madden Guard, is... Ba -ba -bum -bum. Is he guilty, or is he not guilty? Those were your choices, then. And your answer, your answer spoke to what being a lawyer means to you. Hey, I don't care. I'm not a lawyer. I'm just saying. Right. Edgeworth, I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Yeah, yeah. Really? Pearls, you're telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She is on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. Ah, Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya's safe! You did it! You really did it, Mr. Nick! Ow, she punches deceptively hard for a kid. I... I believed in you. I kept saying to myself, Mr. Nick will save her. Mr. Nick will save her. Ah! Um, thanks? Oh! What's wrong? It's Von Karma! Oh, hello. How you doing, baby? Um, about earlier, uh, thanks? Ow! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You, you lost. Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you are still happy. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that, by the way. I don't think you'll ever understand, Ms. Von Karma. How dare you? Don't worry. She may in time. After all, I was like that myself until a year ago. Uh, Edgeworth? For my own personal victories, and for guilty verdicts. Man. I like how I'm having a nice little reflection because this is the end, man. I used every dirty trick in the book, and so my win record remains spotless. But. A man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. I fought him in my usual manner and tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. And then. And then. It was my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. Yeah, that's when he really got all of his bullshit in brought out. And I was saved by that person I called my enemy. Yeah, I saved his ass. I couldn't forgive myself for all that had happened. So I left the prosecutor's office. And I left that note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Hmm, huh, as well you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. So what about you, bitch? I already beat you twice. 
But that, but that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What a foolish, what foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so, Objection! we object that shit, bitch. No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. All the trust is mutual. Best friends forever, man. I keep saying it. What? You trusted your enemy? It doesn't matter how many underhanded tricks a person uses. The truth will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is to fight with the knowledge we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. It's never easy. We claw and scratch for every inch. But we will always eventually reach that one single truth. This, I promise you. The truth? Yes. That's the reason why prosecutors and defense lawyers exist. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, right? That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away into the night. Ah! Uh, is, is Mr. Edgeworth right, Mr. Nick? You really let me down, man. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed, man. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was you. It was because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago when we were just kids, man. And you, you betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, I made up my mind. I decided that the Miles Edgeworth I knew had died. At, le at least, that's what I told myself. Damn. You pathetic, pathetic fool. Pathetic fool. <laughs> Miss Von Karma? I don't want to hear the wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. Yvonne Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no longer worthy of being Yvonne Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over. Francisca threw something on the ground just now. This is an electromagnetic receiver? Pretty sure that's the one she uses to track Gumshoe, yeah. Isn't that the thing she uses to track Gumshoe? Exactly what I just said. I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else. She left her whip? Ah, isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. You should keep this right. Wait, why? You want me to be the whip master now? Um, okay. Nick! Oh, it's Maya. Yes! Mama. Maya! Mystic Maya! Mystic Maya! Yay! Oh, nice. The nice little reunion. Oh, 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 the hearts, the feels, the awesomeness. Oh, my god. Er, my god, man. Er, my god. Er, my god. Er, my, er, my, er, my, er, my god. Oh, man. Oh, Nick, I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. And on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. But we sure pressed our luck in this trial. You're really lucky to be standing here. The only reason I'm trying not to laugh is because I technically did choose to let her go, but I had, I guess, in my personal mind, I had faith that she wouldn't die, but the Phoenix would have given up on her, man. Anyway. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost through Pearly. That's true. Is it really that easy to do something like that? It is when you're fucking channeling people. Thanks a lot, Nick. Um... Don't mention it. Maya. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, I'm relieved you're all right. She did help out a lot back on the Edgeworth trial, back in the day. Hey, it looks like you've made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. Hey. Uh-oh, somebody's hungry. Let's go get some burgers, as usual. All right. I think it's time we got out of this depressing place. Huh? Where are we going? Food, Nick! Food! Grub! Chow! I'm starved! Duh! I'm so hungry, even if you look... Even you look like a nice juicy burger on a bun to me, Nick! Whoa! Whoa! At least take me for a couple drinks first. You... You think I look like a burger? 
I'm a prime rib at least. <laughs> Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. Um, if you insist. Oh, dude. Edgeworth wants to go have burgers with us? Awesome. All right, so how about we hit up our usual burger joint? Don't be silly, Nick. Huh? This case messed up that awesome evening and got in the way of our gourmet, my gourmet food. So I've decided that we have to make it up by having another feast. Another feast? And who's paying for this feast? Come on, Nick. Food! Okay. Food. Back to the hotel for food. Oh, there was a feast. There was a nice little feast at the hotel, but I don't want to be back here, man. Hey, pal. Sorry to keep you guys waiting. Gumshoe, you all right? Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I would hit a telephone pole of all things. What, did it just jump out in the middle of the road in your way? A telephone pole? And it wasn't a red light that got him. <laughs> you did it again, city boy. Oh, God. I felt like my dear old heart was going to give out on me, and I ain't joking. Yeah. What did I... What was his last voice? I don't even know. Yeah, it was more exciting than the very last episode of Steel Samurai. Thanks. Now, looky here, Mr. Snooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Wright too hard? If you don't start being a lot nicer to him, he might just kick it tonight, even. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Well, come on now, everyone gather around. Oh, y'all gonna y'all gonna get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. Looks like Lotta brought herself a new camera. Not sure where she got the money. Well, pal, at least we can put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. All right. You know. Well, uh, when I think you about it, you were the one who saved the day, Detective. Huh? Me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think this trial would have had a very different ending. Oh, well, you know. Uh, oh, it's, uh, <laughs> huh? Wait. That's odd. When I ran off with the things from Dekiller's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. Oh, shit. What does that mean? What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item? Oh, come on, y'all, it's over. But who, boy, I tell you, you really are something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with you, huh? <laughs> you think? Why does she always, why does she look so happy about that? But being shut away for two whole days? Weren't you scared? Yeah, it was really scary. I felt so hopeless. So to keep my mind off of things, I drew a picture. Sounds like you had a rough gal. So where's this picture of yours? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see Mystic Mai's picture. Um, it was, uh, I was, I, it's what they call shipping. Yeah. I wasn't shipping me in Phoenix, though, I swear. Hmm, you know, I don't know where it went. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Well, it's all right. It wasn't anything important anyways. Maybe that was the fourth piece of evidence. That would actually make sense. Ah. It sure is nice to finally see them both smiling again. Uh-oh. Who's beep beeping me? Who's beep beeping me? Who's beep beeping me? Wait. That means Mon Von Karma's showing up, right? Huh? What is it, Edgeworth? This thing is picking something up. Ah, oh, that's that's Ms. Von Karma's receiver. Uh, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience of my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. That's odd. Even though you're standing right here. The tracking device seems to be in a different location. Oh, it's probably busted or something, sir. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Huh? But Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't even eaten anything yet. And you've eaten way too much, you glutton. <laughs> I had fun tonight. Now if you'll excuse me. Wait. What? I just want to say, thanks, Edgeworth. You really saved me out there. Huh. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me. Right. I feel like words alone aren't enough here, man. I wonder if there's anything I can give him to express how I feel. Uh... uh any 
anything to express how you feel? Uh, the whip? The whip? Does he want the whip? He can have the whip. He can have the whip. What's this? Thank you. It's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me. I was only doing my job. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left, Mr. Nick. Hey, Mystic Maya! Huh? Yes, Merle? I guess you two could go back to being lovey dovey, right? Oh, God. You and Mr. Nick, I mean. Merle, would you cut it out already? You're embarrassing me. Uh, anyway. So, who's paying for this lovely dinner party? As if you need to ask, everyone say thank you to Nick! Oh, God. Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm kinda at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. So, uh, I kinda already put your name on the bill. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I got me a situation just like that myself. There's this camera shop in this hotel, you see. And I just bought myself this good old beauty here. It'd be... It better be anyhow for $3,000. Huh? 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 Actually, I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tap. What? That's fucked up. Isn't this great, Mr. Nick? No, it's not great. <laughs> yeah, Nick. It, it was great until I lost a bunch of money. Why do I suddenly feel like screaming? Uh, you don't need to hold back now, you hear? Yeah, pal, time to let it all out. This is going to be the first time I hear the real you. Go on, it's been a while since I heard you say it. I've been busy being a hostage and all. All right, then. If you say so. Yeah! And that's how you wrap up a game, baby. There it is, guys. We've done it. We have done it. Yes! Man. Really came through for Nick. I had to hide that letter, but I knew you'd find it. Okay, let me read these, because there's going to be some dialogue things going on here. I really feel like I've been... I mean, I've escaped death three times now. Pretty cool, huh? feel like a pro. Yeah, until that one time where you really die. You shouldn't feel that happy about it. Man, Ace Attorney games are good. Storyline is written well. I Not all the cases were top-notch, but they were good enough. I'm so happy that you can save Mystic Maya, Mr. Nick, and I'm so happy for the two of you. I'm not going to read any of these anymore. I'll, I mean, I'll read them, but I'm not going to read them out loud. I don't want to do any more voices. I'm sure we're going to get some voices that I don't even remember what the hell they were. Okay, she just made reservations for the Nick and Maya to go out on a date, probably to have burgers. <sighs> this fucking game, though, man. Did anybody expect me to do full-on voice acting? Because that was not the intention when I first started this Let's Play Up, but I went ahead and did it. Okay, it looks like Ed uh, Gumshoe got his job back thanks to Edgeworth. That's pretty sweet. Nice. Got his job back. Awesome, Gumshoe. I want to start talking about more about the Let's Play, but if we're going to keep getting little dialogue parts, I kind of want to pay attention. But I just want to keep reiterating that this was really... It was a really fun experience to do an Ace Attorney game as a Let's Play. And there's Maggie Bird from the first thing. Wait, she retired? She's going to be a waitress? Are you serious? You're going to retire to become a waitress. That is weird, but okay, Miss Girl Scout. That is not what I would retire for. But I guess if she just doesn't want to be a cop anymore, it makes all the senses. So anyway, who's next? Oh, God, not him. Please tell me he's not doing anything inappropriate or, uh, I don't know, molester-like. Recently, yes, that girl you know. I haven't seen her around. Which girl? Okay. She's talking about Vince Von Karma. Okay. He's just talking about how much he likes being whipped by Ben Karma. I was just kind of reading it. Um, yeah, so Ace Attorney is a Let's Play. I, I didn't know I was going to voice act the hell out of it. <sighs> Let's just do all these first before I start talking. So, this is Max. What do you think about Zim what? the Wait, they're going to Zimbabwe? Yeah, totally. That's what Zimbabwe is. Yeah, please, please, please don't. Just, just Zimbabwe, really. That's where they're going. The land of cake castles. Seriously, that girl is so dumb. Oh boy, here's motion, motion cap. Who's 
There's gonna be no way these jokes are gonna fall on deaf ears. I'm gonna be more contemporary with my humor. Mo curls rep represent what? We've got our new act all worked out. Prepare for the hallelujah chorus. Okay. Say something, will ya? You're supposed to start this off. Get on with it. Still abusing himself with his own puppet. Sad story, bro. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a regular credit roll, but we gotta wait for all these these uh, wrap-up scenes to come out. Okay, we're in the hotel. Oh, it's the old lady. What's this? Drat, just an ordinary electric razor? I can't believe this, really? How long do they plan on making me do- Wait, oh, she's still- <laughs> Okay. She's still in the damn hotel looking for bugs. Oh, wow. That is hilarious. Oh, don't worry. I swear I didn't forget about you. I swear. Oh, boy. She's talking super fast again. Shut the hell up, lady. No one gives a crap about you. You're annoying and old. <laughs> Not that those are reasons to hate somebody, but combined together, they form a very hard-to-like person. Are we done with the credits? Or I mean, these are Game Boy Advance games originally. The credits can't be that long. Anyway, appreciate everything you did for me. Oh, that's right. I received a letter from Ms. Von Karma. She said that after I get out, I should feel free to consult her about anything at all. Oh, that's cool. See, Ms. Von Karma isn't all bad. She just wanted the truth, too. She already lost two before we even got to that last trial, so she had no excuse to be all butthurt still. Get over it, baby. It has become difficult for me in this country as of late. <laughs> as such, I will take a short leave of absence. If you would like to request my services, please be sure to visit my homepage. May we both be blessed with longevity. <laughs> uh, I kind of hope the killer shows up in later installments of Ace Attorney. And I do want to get to future future of me playing some Ace Attorney. Okay, my Wiimote turned off. Sorry if it got dark there for a second. Um, yeah. Let's just get this ending out of the way, and then I'll probably have a moment to reflect on overall what's happening. But international departures? Who's going where? Who's leaving? Where are you going, Franziska? How did you know I was here? With this. Oh, Edgeworth went and tracked her down. Okay. That's... I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things like tracking devices in his coat, for example. Hmm, <laughs> that's just like you. I only planted it there because he always was always wearing it. This filthy drab coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. But it's going in the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, he told me something very interesting. Oh, the fourth thing. Tell me the fourth thing. When I ran off with the things from the tiller's hideout, I was sure I took four things total, sir. Was the fourth thing a picture that Maya drew, or is it something else completely? Four items. It seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. He put it in here. It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Are you running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be Manfred von Karma's daughter. Franziska. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what. And failure? Such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a genius. There's no doubt about that. But... But me. I'm no genius. I've always known that. Wait, what? That's not very cool. You're smart, girl. But I... I had to be one. I had to. Daddy issues. You may not be a genius like your father, but you are a prosecutor. You have been, you have been, and always will be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. Wright. You knew something like this would happen, didn't you? I'm going to say this again. We prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you will think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always, you've always left me alone and walked on ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, 
I have always hated you. And then, finally, my chance to take my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. That was supposed to be my revenge. Makes sense. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been t until today. I believe you can. Just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? Who's that? <laughs> you were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on my father by using his tactics. Isn't that right? Huh. Today, you chased after me. After I had left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. But I have no intention of stopping. If you say you are going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francisca von Karma. Oh, what the hell? Talk about, there it goes. Chain, or what do you call it? Uh, Stone cold, ice cold heart, broken. I, I, I am Francisca von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you had better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. Wow. Damn. Alright. There you go. Apparently we don't give a shit about that fourth piece of evidence still. I want to know what it is. Nobody's going to tell me. Phoenix Wright. One day. Someday. I'm sure we'll meet again in battle. Until then. This last piece of evidence that never made it to you. I'll take good care of this for fourth piece. Hmm. So I can give it to you. When at last we meet again. Huh. So this is Va this is Van Francisca talking, obviously. I didn't do her voice there, but that's okay. Yep. She drew a picture of Nick. On the, the card. Makes sense. I guess that would have been a nice piece of evidence, but it probably wouldn't have helped us, really. Alright guys, I think that does it for the game. Ace Attorney Justice for All. Done. Put it in the books as completo. As completo. Alright. I had a good time with this Let's Play, I must say. I did not expect to do full on voice acting for the whole thing. It wasn't my original intention, but I felt when I started it, it was going to be necessary. Because it's a freaking... I feel like I'm just got reading you guys a book and I'm taking you along for the ride with me. Anyway, that being said, am I going to do more J Ace Attorney? on this channel possibly at the very least I want to at least do trials and tribulations because I already have it ready to go on the Wii U on the Wii just like this one I played it on the Wii if you didn't get that already um, yeah so I do want to play it obviously it's not gonna be right now I'm gonna if I do get to it it probably won't be until sometime next year because I'm probably not gonna get to it before the end of the year I have a lot of stuff coming up a lot of good stuff um, yeah so uh, as for other visual novel type stuff, this has definitely opened the door for anything like that. 999, I'm sure you guys are happy to hear me say that out loud to you guys, is definitely something that I've had requested of me for a long time now. But now, And now that I've gotten a visual novel style game out of the way, I don't think it's too daunting. I don't know how long of a, of a story 999 would be. You don't have to tell me. Don't don't worry about that. I'm just, I'm just kind of spitballing here that that one's... If, if I do end up doing other visual novel style games that is near the top of the list along with uh, Dung and Rompa so keep those in mind as something that could happen someday don't expect to see those until after you see Trials and Tribulations of this game of Ace Attorney though because I'd rather finish off this little trilogy of Phoenix Wright games before I touch anything else um, in terms of these kind of games but yeah I, I thoroughly enjoyed this good story uh, that last case was definitely the best one that was easy, that was easy to assess the other two cases were just not as good, that's all. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Hope my voice acting wasn't too terrible or whatever. It wasn't too ear-piercing. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next Let's Play, whatever it may be. Peace!